Okay, so let's chat a little bit about lineups and changing color across the board to make things really simple and really easy. In fact, let me first of all just open up um, a different color palette quickly. Open up two. Great, let's take this color palette, copy, okay, and let's paste this here. Let's lock that down. Okay, so once you have all of your illustrations in a lineup, and you can do that very simply just by, for example, let's have a look. Um, right, let's lock the template and let's take everything else. So you can simply you can do that simply by, for example, um, once you finish your illustration and you're happy with the color placement, etc., just simply lock your template because you don't actually want to take that with you, and just simply click and drag with your big selection tool. Just click and drag over those leggings. Make sure that nothing's locked down. You can do that by going Object, um, where is it, Lock, and then Unlock should be in here if you've got them locked down for some reason. Locking is simply a case of, for example, if you don't want to edit this, um, you can go Object and then Lock Selection, and it just means that you can't do anything with it. But what happens is when you come to Cut and Paste, it won't actually be with your selection, so you want to ensure that Unlock All. So let's just simply select this. I'm not going to take the color palette with me. Let's just go copy. Let's go new document. And doesn't matter. You can create whatever dimensions you like. 50 cm by 12 cm perhaps. Create. You can paste your leggings in. Edit artboards. I mean, we might not want the um, back for some reason. Maybe we just want the front ones. Oops. So let's just select that one and there we go. So now you could essentially create a full lineup. So all the different various designs you had, for example, like this one, you would just simply add them all to the same page. And you could also add in your color palette just here. And I've just simply lifted that from my leggings, which is here. Let's also take this color palette as well, just to show you. OK, let's get rid of these. Don't want those. Don't save. Let's make it a little bit neater. We can get rid of that as well. Yeah, that can go. Don't save. Okay, so I'm also going to add this color palette in as well. Oops. Just to show you what we can do here. Okay, let's just object and lock these down. Selection. So now, what we can do is, um, for example, if you have a lineup going on here, if you use the magic uh, wand tool, let's just double click on this, and you can see that you have different tolerances. I'm just going to basically take the fill color down to zero. I'm going to make all of these zero. And now what I'm going to do is, with my magic selection tool, I'm going to click on, let's say, the yellow. Uh, the yellow. And as you can see, it has picked up everything that is yellow on my page. Okay? If I pick on the cream, it'll pick up everything that's cream on my page, although it's not doing that one. But that's fine. You can queue up these selections. It's probably because they're not exactly the same color. Let's just make sure they are. There we go. The greys are all the same. That's good. So with the magic uh, wand tool, if you double click on it, make sure that all of these are zero. You can then, let's say, right, I want to, across the board, I love the color placements of all of these leggings. It'll make a great collection. I'm really happy with them, blah, blah, blah. Well, let's say you thought, well, actually, I want to see if this, what the yellow looks like is a blue. Well, you can use the magic wand tool to simply select the yellow anywhere on your page. And then you can go to the eyedropper tool. And you can just go, well, I want to see what that looks like in blue or I want to see what it looks like in green, or maybe the teal, perhaps. And you know what, that's lovely, but I don't think that the orange goes very well. Let's try something like, I don't know, that yellow is really nice. That's looking fab. Uh, okay, what about this? Is that the dark, that's dark gray? We can maybe change that to become a light gray. How does that look? So you see, you can start to manipulate and change your designs very quickly and very easily, um, which is really handy when it comes to playing around with, let's say, uh, a lineup. There you go, let's change that to green, for example. You can even go individually and select different areas and different panels, and you can group them. And you can say, well, actually, I want that to be, you can't see it. Um, you know, I want that to be blue, for example, or I want it to be cream. So you can also go in individually and make selections and play around with them. So it's really handy. And then once you've got, obviously, this is a blue panel, you know, you could then go, well, I want them all, all the blue to now become yellow. I'm just messing around, but you hopefully you get the kind of concept, what we're playing with here. Um, yeah, which makes it really, really handy. And you can even group, for example, these little panels. Let's group this one as well. Maybe this one. Oops. 
and you can go right, group that, I want that to be blue. So you can start to manipulate and change in the lineup, which is really handy. Anyway, I'm going to stop waffling because there's not much else to talk about when it comes to this. But um, yeah, I hope you get the concept. So yeah, have some fun. Um, on the video blog post or um, on the tutorial, sorry, on our website where these tutorials have been hosted, we have provided all of these fashion illustrations in their full multi-layered format, which are all completely editable and you can play with them to your heart's content. Um, yeah, so check them out. Obviously they only work in Adobe CC, we haven't backdated them, but um, have a play and let us know what you think and if we can expand on these tutorials any further. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.